हेलो एवरीवन वेरी गुड इवनिंग हेलो नमस्कार दोस्तों आज है वेंसडे लाइव और मैं हूं आपके समक्ष डिस्कशन करने चीजें जो आपको डिस्कस करनी हो टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डू ओनली आस्क मी एनीथिंग इट्स गोइंग टू बी 45 मिनट सेशन एंड वी आर गोइंग टू हैव अ ग्रेट डिस्कशन ऑन वेरियस एस्पेक्ट्स ऑफ मार्केट वेयर यू वुड लाइक प्रोबेबली सम गाइडेंस फ्रॉम मी सो रादर देन टेकिंग टू मच टाइम लेट्स गेट इनटू द क्वेश्चन स्ट्रेट अवे और पहला क्वेश्चन जो मेरे स्क्रीन के सामने है वो ये है आई हैव अ क्वेश्चन दिस इज गर्व आस्किंग द क्वेश्चन इफ द निफ्टी 50 इज इन अ डाउन ट्रेंड देन वुड वी गो फॉर लॉन्ग्स इन कैश स्टॉक्स I like swing stocks in RS model. Should we trade in long position? Does Nifty impact every stocks? Well, God, it's a very good question you have asked. The straightforward answer to this question is that if Nifty goes down significantly, all the stocks will go down. There is no doubt about it. But if Nifty goes down minutely, बहुत ज़्यादा नहीं गिरता है. थोड़ा बहुत अगर Nifty गिरता है या flat रहता है, then typically RS strong stocks. will not fall and it will keep on going up they will outperform the nifty so agar down trend aapko kitna conviction hai us pe depend karta hai how much convinced you are with the nifty down trend if you are very convinced ki yes market will go down significantly my suggestion is don't add more positions and find opportunity to square up the old positions if you are not convinced with the market down trend for example what is happening in the market right now which i also recorded a video in the afternoon that the global conditions is now in such a state which is suggesting that market probably uh, may not be able to sustain the bullish momentum which it is right now i'm not talking about the small cap or the mid cap i'm talking about the nifty in large that the kind of momentum it has seen in the market maybe market will slow down because globally dollar index and us yield curve when everything is showing kind of a, a, a setup which is not conducive to bullish market extremely bullish market in that scenario we definitely have to be very cautious what do you do you don't go short never mai kabhi bhi aapko ye nahi bolta hu especially if you are not a professional market participant you should never go short into the market but if you have positions in the market which is into stocks then it is not a bad idea to stop building new positions and only get into square up mode till you are 100% convinced that yes global setup is also now फेवरिंग मी उसके लिए हो सकता है कि निफ्टी थोड़ा महंगा हो जाए ग्लोबल सेटअप हो सकता है बाद में से अच्छा हो और निफ्टी पहले अच्छा हो जाए एनी थिंग इज पॉसिबल आई एम नॉट सेइंग दैट व्हाट आई से इज 100 परसेंट करेक्ट मार्केट इज मच मोर सुपीरियर देन मी बट द फैक्ट रिमेन्स दैट इफ निफ्टी इज नॉट इन अ राइट माइंड सेट और राइट ट्रेंड इन ग्लोबल मार्केट इज नॉट सपोर्टिंग दैट माइंड सेट देन इट्स ऑलवेज गुड टू रिलैक्स अ बिट एंड नॉट टू ऐड न्यू पोजीशंस ओके the question is from where we can get intrinsic value of a stock now this is a very important question all of us have to understand the answer to this question what is an intrinsic value of a stock always consider intrinsic value of a stock as there are two components in the intrinsic value of a stock number one is the bare minimum value of the stock which should be there because the company is a going concern company right and when we talk about going concern obviously the current asset and liability becomes a very important part of the stock identification right so if you look at the book value of a company which is difference between asset and liability that is like the bare minimum value of the company obviously you will have to revalue the assets and you have to revalue the liabilities as well but assuming other things been constant the book value is the bare minimum value of the company right if the liability is more contingent liability is more than the potential revalued asset then the book value also becomes negative why psus are trading below their book value because it is perceived that the business efficiency is not high and the contingent liability is very high so maybe that's why market doesn't give them true value which they deserve okay so intrinsic value has two component one is the the basic value and the speculative value what is the speculative value speculative value is all about the future there is a future projections which is needed and every individual will have a unique uh, speculation for the company some will assume that x will be the growth percentage some will assume that y will be the growth percentage so because all of us are unique our future estimates are unique so to answer your question where do we get the intrinsic value of a stock my answer is that intrinsic value of a stock cannot be derived 
by mathematics. It cannot be because there's so much future assumptions and presumptions needed. So any software which gives you an intrinsic value of a stock is giving you a data which is subject to interpretation. Okay. It cannot be a certainty ki yehi is ka intrinsic value hai. So do not look out for such. Having said that, as a retail investor, if suppose we have to find the intrinsic value of a stock, the most relevant method is to look at the historical P-E ratio. If the mean of the historical P-E is suppose X, and if the current earning is Y, the best price is the X multiplied by Y. This is best what you can do because projecting the future based on past will involve some bit of human judgment, some bit of human judgment. It is not possible that only based on the past historical data, you try to predict the future by mathematics. Okay. There is a fair bit of judgment which is required. Okay. Uh, I'm not going to take stock specific questions because frankly speaking, we get an opportunity to interact about concepts in these kind of uh, you know, sessions. So let's not waste our time in talking about stocks because anyway, stock is, is a very dynamic discussion. Today, the, the, the X can be the, uh, uh, you know, the discussion which I do with you and the, the same stock can have my view change after, after one week. In fact, if you want to do stock specific discussions with me, then please join Stockage Club, Stockage Social. That's where I'm very active on stock discussions and legally also, I cannot discuss stocks in public forums. SEBI doesn't allow us to do that. So I'm very mindful of all the regulations India has. Okay, sir. I buy huge quantity in PSU banks. What's your view on PSU banks? Well, I can talk about these sectors. PSU banks have been amazing value creator for the banking sector overall, okay, in terms of business, okay? Talk about State Bank of India, Bank of Baroda or anyone. The whole banking sector, which has created that fire inside the economy, the activity of the economy, PSU banks had a major role, but they were always undervalued. Why were they undervalued? Because you know what has happened in PSU banks, the inefficiency problem, the NPA problem, etc., etc., because of which it is always believed that the business of PSU banks cannot run as efficient as a private bank. Now, this has been the narrative for last 20, 25 years. This is now changing because there is an intent of the government to improve things in public sector enterprise overall. And PSU Bank obviously will become part of that intent. Plus, there's a lot of cleaning which has come. Uh, there are clear regulations now in the form of NCLT, etc., which is debarring the faulty promoters to take advantage of our banking infrastructure, which used to be there earlier. So things have improved, processes have improved. I will, I'm a very optimistic person. I would like to believe that things will improve further from here. So if you are a buyer in PSU banks, I would probably like to hold on to that. Okay, But having said that, for me, momentum is very important. So the moment I see a lack in momentum in PSU banks, I will not shy away from getting out of those stocks. Because public sector enterprises have this typical habit of witnessing a lot of activities. A lot of people get into those. But after a point of time, the interest dies down. Because the big money, they never want to get into those kind of enterprises. So be wary of loose in momentum. And if there is a constant loss in momentum in those stocks, the patient is not a bad idea to keep booking your profit on a regular basis. Okay, Akash is a question. Now, I'm asking the questions purely on the basis of, you know, what I'm I'm seeing in the front. Nothing, no specific. Akash is a question. Sir, her duration pe chart change hota hai. Then trend line, kaun sa duration pe banana chahiye? I mean, one month, three month or 15 month, 15 minutes. Very good question, Akash. I'm, I'm very happy. The kind of questions which learners in my platform ask is actually very good. I love to answer those questions. So Akash, this answer is very simple. That if you are trading for Saudi, what is your duration of the trade will define the duration of the chart. If you are trading on intraday, on a tick-by-tick -tick basis, then three-minute chart is probably relevant for you. If you are trading for a shorter swing, maybe for two days to 20-25 days, then probably 
you know, uh, a two hourly chart is good for you. But if you are doing for three month, four month position, then the daily chart is more relevant for you. So it totally depends upon what is your objective of participation and how much you are willing to hold on to your position. Agar aap soste mein teen mehne ke liye position bana raho aur teen minute baad aapki halat kharaa ho jati then probably something wrong with you. You need to figure out that right objective for yourself and accordingly align the chart as per that objective. All right? Okay. I have a question from Mr. Siddharth. He he, he just uh, gave us 400 rupees. Thank you, Siddharth. Uh, uh, you know, 30% of this money will be kept by YouTube. So finally, we'll get around 300 and uh, around 280 odd rupees, which I will donate on your behalf to someone who is needy in society. Thank you for uh, helping the person who will get that money. Siddharth, the question to you are asking, I built my entire portfolio on margin trading facility. Some brokers provide low rate, like 8%. Are my funds safe with these known brokers? What will happen to my fund if brokers go bankrupt? Any insurance by SEBI? Well, it's a very good question. I have not come across any insurance with respect to MTF. Okay. Now, are these safe? So when you take a margin trading facility, that means you are pledging those assets in the name of the broker, right? And if anything goes wrong with the broker, obviously this asset will also get attached with the bankruptcy proceeding of the broker, okay? The category of asset will not be as simple as a simple asset of a broker. Like a broker, if it defaults, then there is certain money which will be taken first, certain asset which will be taken second, and then probably your number will come. So to answer your question, you always carry that risk of default of a broker. If you are putting your money with a broker in a normal account and the broker defaults, there's a settlement guarantee fund. So you will, to a certain extent, get compensated by the settlement guarantee fund. But if you're taking an MTF, which is not a normal account, it's a leverage which you have taken from the broker through its NBFC or through broker balance sheet itself, that will not be covered under the settlement guarantee fund. So you are carrying that risk. My suggestion is only deal with a broker, which is a bank-based broker who have a large balance sheet. And that's where brokers like Kotak, etc. comes into picture. Although they may charge you some extra, but at least your risk of default in all those brokers is very, very negligible. All right, uh, Siddharth, I hope you got the answer to your question. Okay. They want to how to screen stocks for swing trading using stockage premium. Well, this, this answer has been given by me literally every day. Uh, her weekend analysis me yehi karta hon, her midweek analysis me yehi karta. In fact, some people have started complaining ki you talk a lot about stockage. But the fact is, I am using stockage and I'm making money using stockage. So why, why won't I talk about it? So please, you do follow my videos. I am sure you will be able to uh, get the answer to that question. Okay. Uh, Rata ka question is, sir, your view on mid-cap IT companies and chemical sector for mid-term. Well, again, um, broader view. Uh, if you look at the way IT companies are progressing and the whole chemical sector basket is progressing, from the mid-term view looks very impressive. And let me show you. Uh, let me do a screen share and show you why I'm, I'm, I'm saying that to you. All right. I hope you guys can see my screen. Okay. I need to share full screen. All right. Chali. So let's go to the sector. Mid-cap IT, no? So let's go to the sector. And let's search for the IT sector. So information, technology. Okay. When you said mid-cap IT, I'm presuming you're talking about IT software. Let's get into this. Now let's see the breadth of this sector. What is this sector trying to do? The breadth of the sector is quite positive. You see, 
96-97% of the stocks are trading above relative strength RS55, which is our proprietary indicator. RSI is above 50 for almost 99% of the stocks. 99% stocks are trading above 20-day moving average. 98% is trading above 50-day uh, moving average. And 100% stocks, 99% stocks are trading above 100 moving average. This is a fantastic breadth for any, any sector to flourish. And this is happening for the last two days, okay? Now, let us analyze the deliveries in the stocks. When you look at date-wise delivery in the entire sector, there has been interest in terms of delivery and you see the stock price is also going up. This is the increase in market capitalization of that particular sector. I hope you guys are able to see these data points. This is very interesting analysis and you know, serious people who are making big money from market, they do these kind of analysis because these are very relevant analysis for you to understand this entire working. Okay. Okay. Let me just, sorry about it. Yeah. Now, let's look at the technicals of all these stocks. And we are looking at the midterm view. So, we look at the exponential moving average. And we look at the stocks where there is a high momentum. That means stocks which are trading above all major moving averages. Okay. So TCS, interesting. Infosys, interesting. HCL, interesting. Vipro, interesting. LNT, Mindtree, interesting. Tech, Mindra, interesting. LNT, technology services, interesting. Emphasis, interesting. Tata Steel, Tata Alex, interesting. All these stocks are looking absolutely amazing in terms of momentum. Now, how do we pick stocks out of these? To pick right stock out of these, you have to analyze each and every stock. You get into the chart of each and every stock and you see the pattern, the chart pattern, which is the chart is trying to make. Like TCS, RS is positive, RSI is above 50. And this is the chart pattern. The stock is trading above 200 moving average. This looks interesting. Okay. Let's go back to some other stock. If you are talking about mid cap IT stocks, so let's go to mid cap IT stocks. Let's talk about LNT technology services. Let's see the chart here. Wow. Is this stock better than TCS in terms of momentum? The answer is yes. It is already showing a lot of strength in terms of relative strength and the momentum is also very high. So would I pick this stock vis-a-vis -vis TCS? Well, because these stocks are typically high beta stocks with a very high momentum, possibly these stocks will do better than the bigger ones. So, you know, you understood the process, uh, Devaratha. First, we will have to make a view on the sector. We have to look at the breadth and the delivery and other aspects of the sector. And then we have to go to the stock and figure out which stock will give you most comfort if you build position in that stock. My humble advice is do not rely on only one or two stocks. If you believe that sector would be doing good, maybe three, four stocks basket, one big, two mid and one small could be an interesting uh, equation to go ahead with. Okay, Rahul has a question. So, Mira question, Lelia. Sir, I am following the RS model for swing trading. Should I use MTF facility? Well, uh, it's your choice. Uh, I can't, I can't, uh, you know, tell you whether you should do this or that. I mean, it's up to your choice. Uh, okay. Uh, there's a question. This concept of calculating total exposure of money in the strike price, could you please tell us with an example? Well, I think this is a very simple, uh, whatever is your strike price multiplied by the lot size. Uh, and if you have, if you are buying, then premium invested is the exposure. And if you are selling, then whatever is the strike price, into the lot size minus whatever premium you have received that becomes your overall exposure this is very simple there is no rocket science you can get the equation on internet just search you'll get it the answer on internet <clears throat> how to identify stock for two three months which may be performing well it's a very good question um, whenever you are thinking from a two three month perspective 
you have to start thinking more from a fundamental perspective okay because sector rotation is the result of what broader view fundamental people are making two three months ago there's a it do three minutes before that no one was not buying no one was making no one but the smartest people they made a view they thought that it will be very much fall down it's been fell down so we need to get recovery from here they started building position and when they started building position in the sector rotation they started to see the impact of it so can we the first one to make that prediction? Yes, we can be. But we need to be very smart. We need to have that kind of a broader 10,000 view about the markets and the sectors, which is not an easy thing to do. It's literally a contrarian view you try to create in the market at that point of time. But if you don't want that, and if you want to be a big guy, if you want to be a big guy, you want to make that 20-30% movement in a stock, I think sector rotation is the best way to figure out stocks which can move from here. Okay. Hemant has a question, sir. If overall market is in downtrend and if sector rotation uh, doing will be profitable, three to four months positional trading may kitna percentage return book karna is saying to be a good as a full-time trader. Well, uh, so the formula is very simple that if you are doing a shorter swing trading, mother do din se leke 20, 25 din ke liya position build kar rahe then expect 10 to 15 percent move in a stock and your stop loss should be around three to five percent if you're looking for a three to four month position in any stock you should target at least 25 percent 30 percent return with a stop loss of around 10 percent and if you can do a one year two year three year view of a stock then ideally i should target 50 60 percent at least with a stop loss of 15 to 20 percent i'll give you an example and this is a template which i use for a bigger stock move identification so uh, just one simple example and i'm just taking an example of a stock no recommendation uh just talking about a stock because i i find a very interesting pattern in this stock look at this stock and look at this template which i have created in trading view uh, this is a simple monthly chart this is a revenue uh quarterly revenue this is a eps quarterly eps and this is a p ratio historical p ratio of the stock and this is RS model, but this RS model is a 12 period RS model. That means it's a one year RS, okay? One year RS, 12 period, 12 month, monthly 12 period, which is one year RS, okay? So, now this stock, you see, this monthly stock has been breakout. Diya. The stock revenue is trending up, EPS is trending up, and the stock is available at a reasonable value because it's historical PE range. And this is not very far away. So for me, this stock is a good buy, but this is not a buy for short term. These stocks have to be bought for a very long term. It cannot be for a short term. There's a core stock example like the BSC Limited. The revenue growth you can see, EPS growth you can see. Valuation wise, again, around its mean here, okay? And relative strength point of view, so it's a strong stock. It went above its monthly high. Since 960, it has been going up consistently. So, again, depends upon what you are doing, what is your objective, and why you are here. You know, we have discussed all these things in Stockage Club. So, I am not doing anything in Stockage Club. Stockage Club, Stockage Social Club, we do all these things. And stock ideas, which we think that people should know these stocks. We stock ideas we are discussing here. You know, uh, based on these uh, you know, setups which I have created for myself. You see, these are a couple of stock ideas which we have discussed here and some of them work well, some of them don't work. But overall, the target is to make sure that things work. See, long term, we have seen a stock in Yuko Bank. But an interesting stock setup. Uh, again, not a recommendation. It's more of a discussion here, uh, which we do in Stockage Club. So, Yuko Bank. Mein aate. Look at this. So this is a monthly, again, monthly growth, EP, historical P, coffee, down, down, it has been a strong stock for some time, monthly breakout, it's a good stock. Uh, but I will be holding on to this for a long time frame. It is not going to be for a shorter time frame. So, yeah. So, but not a stock recommendation. Please be careful. I'm not here to give recommendation to anyone. Uh, I'm not authorized to do that in public forums. But yes, in stockage social 
we do talk about stocks depending upon what we feel should be discussed. Okay. Hello, sir. Currently, I'm doing job and have been seeing market for a year, but I'm not very consistent, which makes it more harder to understand the market. Please advise watching learn to trade. Yes, learn to trade is something which you should watch and start practicing the market. Do weekend trading. Uh, increase your uh, market horizon to a month, weekly or a monthly chart. Do not do intraday trading. Don't look at shorter time frame price actions because it will bother you. It will motivate you. Jitra dhur se dekhte hai na, prithvi ko. Utni prithvi bhaat beautiful lagti hai. Jitra hum zoom in karke paas dekhne lag jate hai, to raste mein gandagi lagne lag jati hai. So basically, it's up to you. Uh, what do you want to see in this beautiful world? Do you want to see uh, smaller things? Uh, or you want to see the larger things? That will define your, you know, ultimate objective of participation. Okay, this was very good question which Puneet is asking. Sir, are ITC and Reliance still part of the mother stocks after the merger? Well, Reliance is still part of the mother stocks. ITC, obviously, the demerger has not yet happened. So let the demerger happen. And if everything goes away, then obviously the stock will not remain. Uh, just for example, SDFC and SDFC Bank, they got merged in SDFC Bank. So SDFC Bank remained the mother stock. So Reliance is very much still the mother stocks because there are still babies inside that mother who needs to get produced. So abhi tak koi problem nahi hai. But haan, jab wo, uh, ho jayega, then we will obviously remove them from the mother stock list. Okay, so please make a video all about intraday. Well, I have recorded a video about intraday trading in my Learn to Trade series. So you can have a look at that Learn to Trade and learn from me regarding that intraday thing. What is the minimum capital required for full-time FNO trades? Hmm. I would say uh, if you are doing a derivative trading full-time, then anything below 10 lakh is, I think it's suicidal, it's stupidity. And if you want to become a multi-asset trader, which I want all of you to become, that's the vision which we carry, that India should have as many multi-asset traders as possible. There, eventually, you will need at least 25 lakh to become a successful multi-asset trader. By the way, if you want to become a multi-asset trader, just quickly, I want to talk about this. Uh, you know, Elon Marcus has this amazing program a uh, unique program in the world, a program with five mentors teaching multi-assets to its mentors. So, if you want to serious trading, karna chahte, seriously bada banna chahte as a trader, then multi-asset trading is something which you should learn. And this program, TMP program, can be huge, huge thing. I mean, there are people who have attended this and it's a life-changing experience for them who have attended this program. Okay. Mohit, other question, sir, is quantitative trading has an edge over price action? Can a person from non-maths background learn quantitative trading? I myself be a chartered accountant. Well, I'm also a chartered accountant. Uh, I'm not an engineer and I do follow a uh, quant to trade. So there is no uh, defined you know, logic that only people with a non-finance background or an engineering background can become a quant trader. And yes, quantitative trading will always have an edge over price action because quant has the capability to predict price action before then what human mind can evaluate. So if you can learn quant, it's always is always good to do that. Uh, Mr. Ramilanga has a question. Uh, if government, uh, Mr. Ramil, Ramilingam, uh, if government owns 80% of number of shares subscribed, then it means only 20% are available for trading. Or government also trades. Well, government doesn't trade for sure. I would like to believe that. So one of the reasons why PSU stocks are doing well is that free float is so low. How do you identify that? Look at this. Scan. Fundamental scan. Uh, uh, shareholding scan. And uh, high promoter stake. And here... Let me filter it to uh, only PSUs. Apply. Look at this. These are the companies where government has such high stakes. The free float is so low 
that any positivity around these companies, automatically the stock will go up. Look at this coaching shipyard. Let's go into coaching shipyard. And let's see the share holding. How much free float is there in this stock? Only 27%, okay? And in 27%, also 2% is already taken by this. So technically, you have only 25% fee float in the market. If someone corners 25%, majority of the 25%, if someone corners, CFI is already a 5%, DI is a 3%. So non-institutions have only 18%. 18% of what? 18% of number of shares. So how many number of shares are there? 13 crore number of shares. Okay, 13 crore ka 18%. So what's the number? 13 crores ka 18% is 2 crores, 2.3 crores. Okay. And how much trade is happening? Delivery kitna or a daily basis pay? How many number of shares? Almost 1, 2, 3, 1, 2. Almost 1 crore? 10 lakh. Yeah, 11 lakh. So out of 2 crore shares, 11 lakh shares are getting delivered on a daily basis, which is you're almost 5%, right? So 5% of the free float is getting traded on a daily basis or delivered on a daily basis, which is significant, right? So what, what I say that market at times doesn't work only on fundamental, right? So on the business. It also works because there is limited shares in the in the in the hand of people. And if limited shares or narrative hot chai, the prices will go up significantly. I hope you understood this point. Thanks for raising this point, Mr. Vigneshwar. Uh Basan Meshuri ji ko face to face invite uh kya wa hai invite uh jab sir ko ana hoga tabayenge bahut pehle se invite kya wa sir ko. So when to book profit in stock and if we book profit then how can we part of a multi-bagger stocks well if you are doing if you are doing a multi-bagger kind of a thing if you are taking position in multi-bagger stocks then profit booking comes only only and only if you see a massive shift in the momentum otherwise you'll continue to hold on to the stock in fact multi-bagger you only make big money if you add more positions at the top if you keep on booking positions at the top, then obviously you will not be able to make big money. So remember, remember this that multi-bagger as any bante, usme bada position build karke hi up multi-bagger bante. Okay. Okay. Can we fetch real-time data from stockage app during the market? No, you can't. Real-time data is very expensive. We have not subscribed to real-time data. We have subscribed to only one minute data. So you can look at trending stock section and here you are getting the stocks updated on a you know tick by tick basis. So uh, you can not tick by tick on a one minute basis. So you can look at the data here. And if you want the data, you can download the data in an Excel format, which obviously you have to download uh, manually uh, on a regular basis. And this data I, as as on that particular time, you will be able to get this data uh, for that particular time of all, for that particular day. So I've become a club member today. Welcome. Welcome to Stock Edge Club, uh, one of the finest community for serious market participants. My question is how to access the stock price is cheap now even if the amount is 400 well the only way you can find out whether the stock is cheap or expensive is by looking at the market capitalization uh, especially price to book and also price earning multiples for example let us go to a scan and uh, let us uh, figure out uh, the valuation scan and uh, let's go to a stock with a low pe so 
so these are the stocks which are low pe stocks that means the stocks are relatively cheaper vis a vis their earnings let's take an example of coal india so this is the stock which is currently trading at a low pe the highest pe was 8 currently it is trading at around 5 watt pe and the price is also hovering around this range now it has given a breakout in fact let us uh, see coal india uh, from by the longer tenure perspective look at this chart beautiful no absolutely amazing chart sorry coal india not the futures coal india spot absolutely amazing chart huh? again not a recommendation more of an analysis which i love to share with everyone be it in youtube or in my stock edge club fraternity so cheap which stock is cheap or expensive is actually relative to the earnings and also relative to the growth of the earnings so if you look at peg ratio so stocks which have low peg ratio these are the companies with low peg ratio ideally these companies should do good sorry these are psus let me convert this uh into major stocks apply so green panel great east in bank of baroda state bank unfortunately brightcom will also come because the data was good lloyd metal jk paper look at this it has started going up the peg ratio is low and let us what do you think wow amazing ah huh? still relative strength is not positive maybe i will be very convinced with this stock for a longer tenure position when it crosses this 420 odd level till then maybe for a shorter swing is okay but for a longer swing this could be amazing stock because the stock is relatively cheaper i hope you understood this so i am using stock edge and trading view combined to find my stock ideas and i am constantly posting on stock edge social so that all my stock edge club members get the benefit of the analysis or the research which i am doing Okay. Okay, Ranjit has a question. I'm using format for intraday come swing trades. Two hour time frame with stochastic RSI three seven seven three seven fourteen low EMA and twenty SMA. Sir, जब stochastic RSI twenty से up होता है, trade में के setup ठीक है क्या? Well, on the face. it looks okay but i mean i still have to study it more but on the face i think the indicators we are using is relatively okay uh, because rsi measures the momentum stochastic measures the price trend ema is more of a trend indicator which is i mean you may prefer to remove 20 simple moving average also because ema and 2 ma sma both together doesn't make sense for you to uh, you know look that together i mean ek dekhne se bhi kaam ho jayega for any student to learn the stock market how much full cost for mentorship well first thing first i don't suggest people to join mentorship immediately because mentorship is only for people who know what they are getting into as a student first thing first what you need to do is download stock edge app go through all the videos of learn to trade which is there in this app itself and also learn to invest 
everything which I know about the market has been hosted in Stockage free of cost. First thing first, use these videos, learn the basic concept, everything. And then if you feel that you want to go to the next level, if you're convinced that, yes, this is the career or this is what I want to do next, then you think about joining the mentorship program. Otherwise, please do not join because a mentorship program is not for people who are exploring in life. It is only for people who know exactly what they want to do and they want to connect with us in this journey of their wealth creation for market. Sir, ESM se micro cap stocks mein saath unfair ho raha hai. Please bataiye sir. Yes, I agree. Nowhere in the world, I think we have these kind of laws which restricts the free price action in any stock. But, you know, India mein uh, crooks ki creativity ko aap underestimate nahi kar sakte hain. And, you know, what regulator has seen that the facility which has given to market in large has been misutilized and people have taken undue advantage. So this ESM, GSM, these are all because there are some people in the market who are taking this and uh, micro cap stocks, particularly the ones which have huge value, but they are not able to unlock the value because ultimately someone who comes to GSM and that stock will be closed. So it's a disadvantage which we all have which we'll have to live with it because overall market may people have this, you know, mentality of taking undue advantage of the facilities given to them. Sir, I use the strategy given by intraday and learn to trade. My problem is when the time comes, it, it ride hugely so that I can't buy. So what is the solution to this problem? Well, intraday trading solution is very simple, algo trading. If you at all have to succeed in intraday trading, you have to use robots to trade. If you are dependent on your human judgment and uh, your execution capabilities, I think you are overestimating yourself because Technology has overtaken every one of us. Robots are there who can do better analysis, faster analysis, and fastest execution because servers are located in NSC co-location, which we anyways as retail, we cannot access those kind of co-location infrastructure. If you are doing intraday trading, you better go technology way rather than doing manual way. Otherwise, you will not be able to sustain in any kind of intraday trading opportunity, especially when the trading hour increases. You obviously can't sit in front of the screen all the time. So computers should ideally do the trading, which does in most of the algo trading firms. And your role should be to manage the risk and develop new strategies. All right, guys. Thank you so much for attending this session. Really appreciate. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, I've got to close this because I'm having a bit of backache for the last couple of days. And uh, I can't sit for more than 45 minutes at the go. Maybe I'll do this session uh, again this week as early as possible so that I can answer as many questions. And in case you want to remain in touch with me, guys, please, please consider this Stockage Club where I'm so personally involved with all my club members. I'm literally there as part of their family. They become part of me. And we are really enjoying this learning and earning journey in market join Stockage Club for a year, experience the change, experience the magic. And if you don't like, don't continue later here. You will really love the exercise. And what I will do is I'll give you a special discount coupon, which will be there below this video. Uh, use that uh, and become part of the club today so that we all grow together as learners of financial market. Thank you. See you again soon. Bye-bye. Take care.